Hello everyone and welcome to the Excel challenge. If you want to learn how to create a quick and simple timeline that you can use in Excel and you can adjust your task durations and your start date and end date and that sort of stuff, please stay tuned. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is fill some general information for the project. Project name, project duration, project start date and project end date. The name of the project is going to be kitchen renovation. I do not know at this point the duration of the project. I do know we want to start on May 1st, 2017. Just some formatting here. The next thing I want to do is start planning my timeline here. So I'm going to enter a task ID, a task description, a task duration, and start date, and an end date. For this example, I'm going to use a total of 10 tasks. And let's use some borders here. Now I can start entering the tasks for the project. So the first task is going to be demolition, which is going to take four days to complete. The next task is going to be install new tiles, which is going to take two days. And the final delivery with the customer. It's going to take a day. The start date for my first task is going to be May 1st, like we said before. Now, the end date should be equals to the start date plus the duration of the task. In this case, demolition is going to last four days. Therefore, the end date is going to be May 5th. For this project, I'm going to assume that I can only start a new task a day after I finish the previous task. That being said, the start date for new tiles should be equals the end date for demolition plus one day, therefore May 6th. To get the end date of new tiles, I'm going to use the same formula that I used above, and I'm going to fill down by using Control D. So, the end date for install new tiles, it's May 8, since it's going to take two days to complete the, the task. I'm going to fill down these formulas all the way to my final task. I can see here my start date is May 1st and my end date is May 28. Now that I have the list of tasks, the duration of each, and the start and end date for each, the next thing I want to do is the timeline. Next to my first table, I'm going to start with my start date, which is May 1st. I don't want the column to be this wide, so I'm going to choose a vertical alignment. Ninety degrees and do some formatting. And then I'm going to drag this column till the end of the month. I now have May 1st until May 31st. The last thing I'm going to do here is the calculations. Let's start with project duration. In order to calculate the project duration, I need the project start date and the project end date. I'm going to delete this value here. My start date will be the minimum value in the start date range, enter. My end date is going to be the maximum value in my end date range, enter. The project duration is going to be the difference of the two, end date minus start date, enter. My project duration is going to be 27 days. Next thing I want to do is compare each column 
to the start and end date of each task. I'm going to start with May 1st. I want to compare May 1st and see if it's between the start date and the end date. For that, I'm going to use the IF formula. And within IF, I'm going to have a logical test that includes the END formula, which has two portions. Number one is May 1st greater than or equals to my start date. That's the first half, comma. And is May 1st less than or equals to my end date? Close parenthesis. If these two are true, I want Excel to drop an X in here. If it's not true, I want it blank, so I'm going to use quotation mark, quotation mark, close parenthesis, and enter. And yes, in fact, May 1st falls between my start date and my end date. Since I'm going to be copying this formula to the right, I want to lock my column D and I want to lock my column E. And since I'm going to be dragging this formula down, I want to lock my row 5 and my row 5. Enter. When I copy this formula down and to the right, Excel does the trick. So now I have a timeline. The last thing I want to do is change this axis for a nice formatting. So what I'm going to do is select this range. I'm going to use some conditional formatting where I'm going to say if the cells are equal to X, I want to have a green fill and I'm going to pick the same font color so I don't see an X, but instead a green square. Now I have a timeline. So now I can play with the dates in my project. For example, let's say my tiles are delayed and instead of taking two days, it's actually going to take four days. Let's see what happens to the timeline. Oh, the whole thing got delayed. Now my project duration is 29 days and my project end date is 31 days. And let's say that uh, installing new cabinetry, it's not going to be three days, it's only going to be one day. Let's see what happens to the timeline. It adjusted automatically. Time for the bonus trick. Let's say your project is delayed by two months. So your new start date is no longer May 1st, but July 1st. Let's see what happens to the timeline. Oops, we lost it. Main reason is because on the top we have the month of May. In order to fix this, we're going to say this start date is always going to equal my start date in this cell. The value in this cell is always going to be equals my start date plus one day. And I'm going to copy this formula to the right by filling it with control R. My timeline is back regardless of the start date. So let's say my new date is actually August 1st. The dates on the top changed as well. Let's try one more time. Let's say my new start date is October the 1st. When I hit enter, the dates on the top change to the month of October. My new project start date is October the 1st. My new project end date is October 28th. My project duration is 27 days. And I can continue playing with the timeline the way I want. So let's say 5, 3, 3. And it updates automatically. That's it for today. If you have a chance that you can help with, whether it's at work, at home, or at school, don't forget to put in the comments below. I try to resolve the most common challenges of our viewers and subscribers. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in our next video.